Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking all about 2023 handbag trends. So I was really excited about this video because originally I was just gonna do a 2023 handbag wish list, but my wish list changes all the time and I'm constantly adjusting it. And sometimes if I think about a bag long enough and I feel like it's just gonna be around, I'll just keep pushing it back. Do you know what I mean? Like, so I was just like, let's just do a 2023 handbag trends discussion. So we could just talk about what's going on. Talk about some bags that are coming out that have just come out. And maybe you guys might see some bags that you've been wanting or have not heard about. And I did tell you guys before that I was going to give you some handbag alternatives as far as like more affordable options. So I did some research and I found some bags that could be really great alternatives as far as affordability. And then of course, we're going to talk about all the luxe bags that we have on our list as well so let's just jump right into it i don't have these in any particular order but i do have them categorized so first off i want to talk about satin bags now satin handbags are hugely on trend and we did see them coming in like i guess toward the end of last year um, more so around like the holiday season but they've been cre creeping in for a while i would say even since last summer because that's when i was picking up a few of um, the satin handbags that I have so everything just kind of like turned up for the holiday season of course like sparkles and satin and all that but they are here and they're going to be around for a little while which I really love because they're gorgeous they are a nice soft way of doing a cute bag I personally love the satin bags in mini versions they're so cute like my Alexander Wayne scrunchie bag you guys always ask me about that bag I had it in the background of a few of my reels and you guys were messaging me DMing me asking me about that bag and the pink one actually is not available anymore but but this bag does come in other colors. I've seen it in navy blue. I've seen it with black and like crystal A's all over it, like lowercase A's. And I'm obsessed with anything that has an A on it, as you guys can see. And so I really like that bag. And I think that it will be great to have it in any color. I actually thought about it in a green color that I can't find anymore, but it's a really cute bag. But I also found some affordable options for that bag. I'll have them linked in the description box, but this satin bag from Lulu's is really great. It is a nice, pretty soft bag, especially if you have special occasions. But what I love about these satin bags is that they pair really great with just like your everyday casual clothes. If you're someone who loves to incorporate your specialty pieces into your daytime wardrobe, then this could be a lot of fun just playing around with. But of course you could just save it for an evening bag and that's totally fine too. But this satin bag from Lulu's is a great option. I also found another bag from ASOS that is more of the same coloring. It looks like it might be a little bit larger, but I would say it's still a mini bag. Very cute option as well. And of course on the luxury side of things, again, the new Fendi baguettes have come out and they're so gorgeous in that Tiffany blue satin really really pretty and they have like these acid green colors even in the men's section they have the cargo style uh, baguettes that are so cute definitely worth looking at if you guys are interested in those kinds of bags I think they're really gorgeous but lots of alternatives if you guys are looking for more affordable options if you just want to try it out now on to the next category, sculptural bags. And more so hard case bags, more structured, um, interesting shapes. Now Caperni is a brand that's been doing that for a while. They have those really cool of swipe bags that are kind of like oval shape and they have like the really long handle. Now I have a like miniature version of a swipe bag that is really cute. It's not as uh, structured as the larger style, but still very cute and I always recommend that one if you guys are looking for a cute little bag. And it comes in red, I have it in black patent, but they have other colors as well. But the larger oval shape bag they're doing in so many different color combinations. I've seen like croc embossed pink ones, really, really cute. But they also have a glass swipe bag that is so cute, but it is definitely an investment piece, but it's very sculptural. It looks so gorgeous. If you're a collector and you just love to have gorgeous pieces in your collection, then this is one that you can just like sit and be displayed in your closet or you can actually wear it. I don't know how practical that would be, but it is actually really, really beautiful. Now this next brand called Published By, this Maisie handbag, I believe that's how you say it, it was photographed with Beyonce. Now I don't know much about this brand. I do think this bag is fun and interesting and it's definitely on trend. I mean, the silvers, the metallics, those liquid kind of metals are very, very on trend right now. And Beyonce was given like a whole silver look, so it was very cute. And it's high polish, really, really high shine, this handbag. So this is very cute. But if you want something more approachable, something that's a little bit more easy to style, then maybe 
you might want to try is like the acrylic hard case kind of bags more like Coke Gaia has been doing them for a long time now I've been seeing them I guess ever since like last summer I've been noticing the Coke Gaia ones they have different shapes the acrylics with like the cool designs on top and then I also saw a very affordable version on Lulu's if you guys want to check out that one I'll have it linked in the description box but that's one you can definitely just try out and see if you like the trend altogether and some of these are just so sculptural and gorgeous that you can just leave them as display pieces like let's say you're over the trend and you're just not into carrying a bag that is so um structured and in the hard case then you can definitely you know put it in your closet and it could be a display piece you can even put it in like on your coffee table that would be really cute as well so definitely once these trends are over and you're into these sculptural bags they can just be display pieces in your closet now this next category really fits into sculptural but they are having such a moment that i feel like they should be their own thing but heart bags are definitely trending right now and i think they're so cute i love how whimsical they are they're a lot of fun and it's just really great to introduce some new shapes into your collection that you don't already have and i for one am interested in adding more colors different shapes you know different just interesting bags into my collection so heart bags i love and you can definitely check out like alaya has these heart bags that i think are really cute you can wear them cross body which I find is really cute uh, especially as we're approaching the warmer months if you have like a cute summer dress and this heart bag cross body it'll be really gorgeous I've seen black patent I've seen red there's also a really gorgeous silver one it looks like they're going to be coming out with some more like embellished heart bags which we're going to talk about embellished bags in a second but the heart bag I'm definitely here for it a uh, Coperni a brand that I love and mentioned earlier um, in the video they have a really gorgeous tote heart bag and I'm going to talk about totes too so many different Bags. And a lot of these bags you'll find that really cross um, cross over the different trends and which I love and that's something that I spoke about in a previous trends video. Um, a lot of the trends that we were seeing really were like cross category which I think is really great because you can definitely try out a few different trends with one item and so that way if you're just interested to see how something works for you you can just pick up one thing and then you can wear it a few different ways and as I get more pieces in my collection that are more on the trendy side I'll definitely style them with you guys and show you some ways to wear it but I am definitely here for the heart bag I think it's so cute and a lot of fun and if you love pearls, a brand called Simone Racha, I hope that's how you say it. I had not heard of this brand, but when I was looking up some really cute heart bags, I saw this one and I think it's really cute. It comes in a larger size and a mini size. It is so gorgeous. I love pearl and I think this sculptural shape of this heart is very elegant and very elevated. And so if you love to wear your more dressy pieces in the daytime, like I was mentioning before, then this is a great way to do that. You can put on a gorgeous dress and throw this over crossbody or have it just like dangling in your hand, which I think is really cute. But these heart bags are gorgeous. And if you want to try it out more on the affordable side, Coach did a really gorgeous like quilted heart bag that is sold out. Cannot find it anywhere in the link for you guys, but some of you might already have it. Let me know if you do. Put it in the comments and let everyone know your experience with that bag. But Kate Spade does some really great affordable heart bags. So there are lots of options you guys can play around with. And of course, I'm going to have everything mentioned linked in the description box. Now let's talk about tote bags, which are back in a big way. There are so many cute tote bags that are popping up. And of course, everyone loves the Saint Laurent tote that is gorgeous. The Ikari or I Care. I'm still not sure about which version I'm going to go with, but I love that bag. As soon as I saw it before it even came out, I was like, that bag is gorgeous. So if you are into that bag, it is very prominent. It has that bold gold hardware, which is gorgeous. I love Saint Laurent's hardware. The bags that I have, the hardware has held up so well. So I can definitely, I already know that that bag is just everything so that's a great option um of course the Saint Laurent Reef Gauche is also a really great option as far as a tote bag comes in two sizes and they come in a lot of varieties now when they first came out they just had like the cream with the linen which is what I have I have the smaller version but they've they've come out with so many other uh, color options now that are still really really good and that bag is still very relevant so if you've been interested in it now would be a great time to pick it up because to me, it's an all-season bag. It is linen. It's like a coated uh, linen, but you can wear it all seasons, especially if you get like a darker color or something like that. But then it could take you right into the summer because you can wear it to the beach. You can wear it as an actual tote, but some really great options. And then Loewe has come out with some really cute totes. Um, these are men's totes, but who cares? They're so cute, and I love the colors that they come in. Um, I love that they come in this really vibrant green. Loewe does really well, that vibrant green. Just colors in general because even the orange is really gorgeous. So really nice options there but there are so many toasts to pick from 
On the more affordable side of things, this MM6 tote by Mason Margiela is a really good option. So cute. is a very uh, casual kind of a tote, which in general totes are casual. But I really love the feel of this one. It gives kind of like a street style kind of a vibe, a little bit more edgy. Really cute. couple different color options. And it could sit on your shoulder really, really great. But you could also sit it in the crook of your arm. And it looks like the drop is not too long on this so that if you have it in the crook of your arm, it's not going to just like hang super low. But I really like this. I think this is a really great option as well. And if you're looking for something that gives you more of like an adjustability factor, this one, this quilted bag from All Saints is a great option because you can adjust the strap to be longer to wear it crossbody or you can adjust it so that way you can wear it over your shoulder. The same strap has a bunch of notches on it so that way you can adjust it however you like, like a belt, which is really great. I love the versatility there because sometimes you just need to be hands-free and a tote can be kind of like cumbersome, you know what I mean? Like it's very, it can, especially if you overfill it, it can be just a little bit too much. So it's nice to have that option to be able to wear it crossbody. I think this is a really cute tote. Next up, let's talk about mini bags. Now, they've been trending for some time now. It's been a while. Mini bags are really great because they're just so cute. For some people, they might not be practical, but they can usually fit everything you need, um, you know, when they're a decent mini size. There are lots of options to choose from. Me personally, I do really love my Coperni swipe bag. It is mini. I can fit everything I need in there except my phone. If I can fit everything I need and I'll just have to carry my phone in my hand, that's no problem for me. So I love that bag. And like I said earlier in the video, it does come in other colors. Very cute option. Uh, the Fendi Fendigraphy is a really cute bag. I love that bag so much and it comes in so many colors. And what's great about it is that you can just wear it, you know, on your wrist and that way you can be completely hands-free and just hold your phone in your hand. So that's a super cute bag. Fendi's been doing some really cute mini bags. The mini Fendi baguettes, uh, the mini peekaboo top handle was so cute. Love that. There's so many mini bag options. I actually have a smaller mini baguette that I bought pre-loved. I love that one. It's not exactly vintage, but I shared it with you guys. Um, quite a while ago. I really love that one. I wear it crossbody. That's a really cute option if you want to check out the pre-love market as well. Actually, I'll go ahead and link some options as far as some pre-loved ones that you guys might want to check out as well. But really cute options from Fendi. They have a lot of mini bags that you guys would love. And of course, we have to talk about Bottega. The mini Jody is literally everywhere. I'm sure you guys have seen that bag a ton. But I did find a version of it from ASOS that definitely gives the mini Jody vibe. It comes in a metallic silver. Very cute option if you're looking for a more affordable alternative. Now, the last category that I want to touch on are embellished bags. And we've been seeing that trend for a while now. We love it. So gorgeous. And, of course, we've all seen the nylon Prada bags with the crystals all over it. They come in so many different colors. And then the Prada Clio bag is a great option as well. Those are leather versions, and then they have the crystals all over it, gold, silver. The gold one, I think, just came out this season. But they have silver. They have black. The crystals everywhere so gorgeous. And that's a really great shoulder bag. But if you're looking for some other options, Coperni, the swipe bag that I have, the Nano swipe bag, it also comes with crystal embellishments on it and it leans a little bit more like silvery gray which of course is very on trend that silvery really cute option and then if you're looking for something else from the same brand Coperni this crystal zip bag is a really cute option I really love that they incorporated the zippers it adds something a little bit extra to the bag which of course we love to do a little bit extra and this is a really good option now there's some other bags that don't have crystal embellishments of course you can do like pearl embellishments which are really great these Vanina bags are really gorgeous I actually have one in my collection it doesn't fit much at all but it is really cute and it definitely is a moment and it adds a level of elegance to an outfit but you can definitely wear it dressed down with more like a casual style look you guys know I love the elevated casual looks so you can definitely do that as well if you love more like pearl embellishments or you want to do something different than the crystal embellishments and another really cute crystal bag is by this brand called Liu Jo. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly because it's not a brand I'm familiar with. But I thought this was a really cute option if you're looking for something that is more affordable than some of the other high-end luxury brands that I mentioned. This is a really cute bag. I like the shape of it and it looks like you can fit everything you need, even your cell phone. So that is it, you guys. Those are just some of the 2023 handbag trends. There are actually so many more bags that I didn't mention. So many bags that I think are so gorgeous. And I'll link as many as I can in the description box along with the alternatives that I mentioned in the video and some others that I didn't mention that you guys might want to check out. And I may or may not have ordered a couple of handbags on this list. So stay tuned if you're interested to see which. But that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, already what are you waiting for i would love to have you if you want to check me out on some of my other socials like instagram pinterest tiktok i got all the information for you in the description box thanks again for watching and i'll catch you in the next video bye
be sure to check out my ebook. You guys, I got such a positive response from so many of you and I thank you guys so much. I'm so happy you guys loved uh, my ebook where I share with you guys everything that I have done to get to the point that I'm at right now. I get so many questions about how to be successful on YouTube, what I did, you know, any tips that I have to offer and literally everything is in that guide. And I got so much good feedback from you guys about how valuable you feel that this guide is and it truly is so now i'm really excited to say that you guys can get the audio version of this ebook i know a lot of you might be very busy but you still want to learn how to succeed on youtube you want some tips and some guidance and i know that a lot of people are just really busy maybe you're a mom maybe you are only able to listen while you're like on the computer at work so this audiobook is going to allow you to do that it's going to give you all the same information but now you can just listen and you don't have to sit in one place and read we're all very busy and I know we all are multitasking, but you still want to be able to get the information. So the audiobook is now live. You guys check the description box and pick it up. And I would love to know you guys' feedback. It helps so much in me just like, you know, being able to share more with you guys and just know that you're able to receive the information. So definitely check the description box. I'm really excited for this and I cannot wait for you guys to check it out as well. Oh.